The Echo Hub is the best Amazon dashboard. But when I say best, I say that with an asterisk because Amazon has set a pretty low bar with their previous dashboards. But for some of you Amazon users, this is the dashboard you've been waiting for. And since you might be using this as a family dashboard, I put it to the ultimate spouse approval test. I quizzed Ali on how to use this device. I can't. So we'll see if I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. The Echo Hub is actually quite a bit different from the previous Amazon devices you might be familiar with when it comes to using it and just the physical design. So it's kind of like an Echo Show mixed with a tablet, but it's a lot thicker than a tablet, but that's because there's some big speakers on top. The speakers actually sound pretty good if you're listening to someone talk, but if you're listening to music with bass, yeah, it's not gonna sound great. The current weather is 77 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. There's actually no cameras on this thing. It's only a proximity sensor right up at the top. So if you walk away from the Echo Hub, the display will turn off. And then when you walk up to it, it will turn back on. And there's also a light sensor next to it. So if it's dim in the room, the brightness will dim on the Echo Hub. There's three microphones at the bottom that seem to pick me up well and three buttons, a mute button and a volume up and down. So there's two ways you can mount the Echo Hub. One is with the included wall mount or this third party desk or table mount. This thing's actually pretty high quality and both of them have really good options to hide the cord. So there's a lot of little cable management tied into all this, which I really appreciate. So obviously you can control things with voice commands like on a normal Echo device, but what really sets apart the Echo Hub is how you can control your smart home. All the smart home controls are right there on the display front and center, and it's really fast and really easy to use. All right, to see how easy the Echo Hub is to use, I'm gonna have Ali try it out for the first time here on camera. Just turn the studio lights on and off. So previous Echo shows or even Amazon tablets, they would bury the smart home controls. They were really slow to get to, really clunky. But this, they're just right there front and center. You can click on like your lights, a little slide over comes up. You can click on a light, turn it on or off, click off to the side and you're back to the home screen in no time. And so you can control your lights, your thermostats, your switches and cameras, all that kind of stuff. You can just click on it and then quickly access your smart home controls. They do have all the groups off to the side, which you can click on. And so you can access all the devices organized in your house pretty quickly. But what's even better is I can assign a widget on the home screen as a group for that specific room. So for example, if I put the Echo Hub in this room, I can assign this room's group to that widget. And so every time I look at the home screen, I have all my smart home controls for this group right there front and center. I can quickly access without needing to scroll or click on anything else. Using the Echo Hub feels a lot faster than the previous Echo shows when you're controlling your smart home. It's definitely not snappy by any means, but it feels more usable compared to things in the past. There's also a Zigbee Hub inside and you can connect Thread and Matter devices. So when it comes to security, you can view your camera's live feed on here, but to see a little snapshot preview of what the camera last saw, you'll need a Ring camera subscription. For the Ring alarm, I was able to arm my system, but I couldn't disarm it. There was no keypad that popped up. And I think they're gonna add this later. They were showing in some of the promo videos and they said that they're gonna add some software updates for things like this later on. But just be aware, you cannot arm or disarm your Ring alarm unless you're paying for a Ring subscription or if you're grandfathered in. And if you wanna know if you have either one of those, if you can control your Ring alarm from your phone, then you can be able to do it from the Echo Hub. To get to your routines, they're just off to the side and you can quickly access them, but you have to scroll a lot if you have tons of routines, which is kind of annoying and you can't pin any routines right now. Even if you've pinned certain routines in the past on like an Amazon tablet, they're not gonna show up here. So that's something I would love to see in the future because I don't like all the scrolling. The Echo Hub was definitely made with simplicity in mind, which can be a good thing because even my own personal dashboard with Home Assistant can get a little convoluted at times. Hey, Reed, on our dashboard in Home Assistant, where do I go to control the shades for our room? Oh, that, that's easy. You just go to the main dashboard, go to the subview bedrooms, and then you'll find the master bedroom section. If you've ever used an Echo Show in the past or even the Echo Show 15, 
there's always a little spot where Amazon is able to sneak in some of their own stuff and push things onto the home screen. But with the Echo Hub, it doesn't seem like that's available. There's just only the dashboard, which I think is great. And I hope they keep it that way because I hate going into the settings on the home screen and having to disable everything. So one of the things that can get a little annoying is scrolling on the Echo Hub. You scroll side to side and you kind of have to scroll a lot if you want to see a bunch of your widgets. But some of the widgets can actually scroll horizontally. So as you're trying to scroll the home screen, it's accidentally scrolling the widget. So... Yeah, it can be a little frustrating at times. Oh, and don't get me started on rearranging widgets. It's so difficult, especially with the big widgets and almost impossible. I want you to rearrange the widgets. Oh, I can't. I can't without, I just tried to move the whole thing. <laughs> They're not like floating like they do on Apple or that's like shaking back and forth. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. There's also an active media section which shows what music's being played around your house, which is pretty cool but you have to click on the button to see it. Unlike their iPad app, which always has a banner at the bottom and you don't have to click on it to see it. And I wish they would have had that on the Echo Hub. Which brings me to a couple issues I have with the Echo Hub. One is too much space wasted. Like there's a ton of space up top that's not being used and all of the buttons are just way too big. You can only fit a few buttons on the screen because they're so massive. And I wish that there was an option to at least shrink down the button size so you can fit more on there. Like I get that they're trying to make them easy to press, but if you could just choose what you prefer, then maybe, you know, everyone could customize it the way they like. Another thing that I have an issue with is the widgets. There's just really not a whole lot of options and the options that they do give you, you just can't customize. Like for example, they have this really cool widget where you have your contacts or things you can drop in, like you can just quickly click on it and drop in on another Echo device across your house, but you can't customize it to pick which ones you'd wanna see. They give you a lot of options, it's kind of random, and you have to scroll past ones you don't use. Anyways, it would be awesome if I could just customize that, put that on the home screen of just, hey, I wanna use drop in on certain devices all the time. I click on it, I start talking to people, that would be way better. Drop in on the Echo Show 15. No, if you want to say drop in, you go to top connections. Oh, okay. Well, it's still not even on here. Oh, right there. Okay. There you go. So you got to find okay. it. Dropping the in. other issue is very minor and it's with a Fire TV functionality. So with the Echo Show 15, they push out an update that gives you full Fire TV functionality. Like you can get all your channels and all of that. I use it in a kitchen and it's awesome. But with the Echo Hub, they only give you some like Fire TV channel video clip type things. It's not very useful and I wish they would have given us more options. So who's the Echo Hub for? Well, if you have smart things or home assistant, I probably wouldn't use the Echo Hub. I would just get an Android tablet and customize that. But if you use Amazon as your smart home system, then this could be a pretty good option to control your smart home devices. If you're on the fence and you think, oh, it's gonna probably get a lot of updates and improve over time, that might happen, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Previous Echo shows really haven't changed much over the years when it comes to the UI. So definitely buy it for what it is right now. And if we get any updates, that's just a bonus. I feel like Amazon is about 80% of the way there with this. If you could pin routines for specific Echo hubs around your house, then you could just put them all over. You walk into the room, you could click on an automation that's always right there on that Echo hub or if you could customize the look and feel and put more buttons with less scrolling, that would just make it so much better. Either way, for you Amazon users, I think this Echo Hub's gonna make it way easier for your family to control your smart home than what's been previously available. Thanks for watching. Hey Reed, where's the button for the candy dispenser? You just press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, start, select. Oh, it's like a cheat code. Yeah, and then the candy button appears.